Hello everybody, this is Jeffrey with NetTouch, the best web development tutorial and screencast site on the web. And today we're going to take a look at uh, what I like to call the intricacy of simplicity. So we are going to take a look at using CSS3 to add very subtle effects uh, to just improve the overall feel of your website. So we're just going to work with a single box. And the key here is we're not using any kind of images. So it might look really simple at first, but if you take a look, we have rounded corners. We have a subtle gradient from top to bottom. And then if you zoom in all the way, you can see that we have a white border and it's immediately followed by kind of a darker black color on the outside. So this was originally accomplished with a combination of border and outline. But the problem is when you use rounded corners, outline doesn't allow for that. So the outline will still be a square. So we're gonna take advantage of something you may not know about uh, from Mozilla called Moz Border Colors to achieve this effect. So I'm gonna go ahead and refresh the page and this is where we will start. So within TextMate, I've just de defined some default uh, padding and stuff like that for the body. And I've also created a div with an idea of box. So let's begin by setting a width, a height, and a border, a two pixel solid white. Let's go back to Firefox, refresh the page, and that's what you get. So let's continue on from here. And the next step is, let's go ahead and give it some rounded corners. So Moz border radius is going to be three pixels or so. Okay, and that's going to, if I zoom in, you can see they're just turned. If I change that to 10, it's even more so. Uh, let's take care of WebKit and the default, the final set would just be border radius and that'll be WebKit. Okay, so the next step is uh, setting a background color. So background for default by default is E3, E3, E3. Let's zoom back out. But now let's set a gradient with CSS. So I will do uh, background and it's going to be Moz linear gradient and it's gonna begin at the top and it's just gonna go from A4, A4, which is kind of a darker gray color back to our original color. And now we get this nice effect. We could even change that to left if we want to go from left to right. Let's keep that. And uh, WebKit's gonna be a little bit different, so we'll do WebKit gradient, and it's going to be a linear gradient. And it's gonna stop, start from the left top point to the left bottom, pretty much we're saying top to bottom. And we're gonna go once again from A4, A4, A4 to E3, E3, E3. And you're not gonna see that effect, but that will take care of WebKit browsers. And then finally, let's take a look at Moz border color. So we'll do Moz. Let's actually begin by going, uh, let's grab this right here and bring it down. And we will say Moz border top colors. And this should be a string of values relating to the number of pixels we set. So if I did red, green, you can see at the very top, it starts with red and then it goes to green. So if we added more, we would add more colors accordingly. But we're gonna keep this simple. You could even do it different for every border if you wanted something really tacky. But we'll keep it like that. So we have black on the outer and then white on the inside. And if I zoom out, that looks really good. So if I just duplicate this, and like I said, we could even change it if we wanted. And I'm gonna change this to right, bottom, left, we get a really nice effect where you can see it's just a subtle outline. You'll see this in a lot of web designs and it adds a lot of uh, effect. Unfortunately, WebKit doesn't allow for this, so we're gonna have to achieve kind of a, uh, a different route. And we're just gonna use a box shadow. Zero from the left, negative one to push it up one pixel and give it a blur of two pixels. And we'll set it, whoops. And we'll set it that color, so let's save that. Sorry, trying to be quick here paste that in and now if I go into Safari and I refresh the page, let's go into desktop, border gradients, you can see it's not quite as good but we get a really nice effect there as well. So let me know if you have any questions and uh, we'll talk more in the comments. Thanks guys.